welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at a topic indices and logarithms and our subtopic for today is negative indices. So you're going to look at the rules uh, under negative indices. How are we supposed to work out negative indices? The previous lesson we looked at positive indices. In this case, we're going to look at the values. When you work them out, you get negative indices. So when you're dealing with a negative power, you simply change the power to positive by changing it into a fraction with the first numerator. For example, if you had a question, a value or a base with a negative value, remember we said this calculation, it means that you had the indices. This will mean it's negative n plus n, which will give us zero. And we know that a raised or a base raised to zero is the same as one. So if you work it out like a power n, if you divide for example, both sides by a power n and this other side by a power n, you end up having this value, a power 0 divided by a power n. So you get this value and we know that a power 0 is the same as 1. That's why we end up having 1 over a power n. So that's the, what we have said. So let's look at an example. For example, we have 2 power 3 divided by 2 power 4. We said when you have a division of um, values under the same base, that is indices under the same base, you subtract. So this is the same as 2 in bracket 3 minus 4, which gives you 2 power negative 1. So you see you get a negative value. So 2 power negative 1 is the same as 1 over 2 power 1 or 1 over 2 in simple terms. The negative 1 is a fraction. It's like a reciprocal value of 2 as we saw. So you see like in this case, a power negative n is 1 over a power n. So this is what comes in in our calculation. So let's do a few more questions. So we have 2 power 3 times 2 power negative 3. So we know if we have the same base indices under the same base with a multiplication we add. So this becomes 2 power 3 plus negative 3. So 2 3 plus negative 3 gives us 0. So 2 power 0 is equals to 1. Remember we said that rule. And if you look at this fraction, so this fraction tells us that this is the same as 2 over 3 power negative 2. We can choose to like separate the numerator and the denominator or you can work on it like as a whole, as one base. So if you work on it as one base, this becomes is the same as 1 over 2 over 3 into bracket power 2. This means it's 1 divided by 2 over 3 power 2. This is the same as 1 times 3 over 2 power 2, which gives us 3 over 2 power 2. You can go ahead and work this out, which gives us 3 power 2 becomes 9 over 2 power 2, which becomes 4. You can do this way or you work it out individually where you have 2 power negative 2, 2 power negative, or 3 power negative 3. So 2 power negative 2 means is 1 over 2 power 2 divided by 1 over 3 power negative power 2. So this is the same as 1 over 2 power 2 divided by 1 over 3 power 2. So this is the same as 1 over 2 power 2 times 3 power 2 over 1. You end up getting the same value. This is like 3 power 2 over 2 power 2, which is 9 over 4. So you see how those values have been integrated using the negative sign. Let's do another question. So we have this long question with the different bases. So the first thing we put the bases in the same, the similar bases together. 
So we we'll start with 6 power 2 times any other base with 6, 6 times power 3. Then we go to 7 power negative 4 times 7 power 2. And then we go to 8. So if you look at this bracket, we can open this bracket. So negative 2 times 2 gives us negative 4. Uh, and then 8 times power 4. So we work it out. So 6 is the same as 2 power 3, the indices, times 7. So it's negative 4 plus 2. And then times 8, negative 4 uh, plus 4. So 2 plus 3 gives us 5. So this is 6 power 5 times negative 4 plus 2 gives us 7 power 2 power negative 2. And then 8 negative 4 plus 4 gives us 0. So this is the same as 6 power 5 times 7 power negative 2. Remember we said that's the same as 1 over 7 power 2. Then times 8 power 0 gives us 1. So this leaves us with 6 power 5 over 7 power 2. And then if we look at this other question, we work out, the, we open the bracket first. So this is 2 power negative 2 times 2 times negative 6, which gives us 2 power negative 12 over 2 power negative 4 times 2 power negative 6. So there's a division sign. It's like this, 2 power negative 2 times 2 power negative 12. Uh, divided by 2 power negative 4 times 2 power negative 6. So that tells us we can work out the numerator, which is 2 power negative 2 plus negative 12 first, divided by 2 power negative 4 plus negative 6. So negative 12 plus negative, negative 2 plus negative 12 gives us 2 power negative 14 divided by 2, negative 4 plus negative 6, negative 10. So if we put this base together, it becomes 2 in bracket, negative 14 minus minus 10. So algebra comes in here. So it becomes 2. So minus 14 plus 10 gives us negative 4. So power negative 4, which is the same as 1 over 2 power 4. That is our answer. So we can also work out now this question. And remember this question, you can see we don't have the same base. So we have to make it the same base. So we have 3 power 2x minus 5 in z equals to 27. So we need to get the factors of 27, which is 3, get 9, and then 3, 3. So this is 3 power 3. So we put that in our question. So it is 3 power 2x minus 5 is equals to 3 power 3. So this is the same as 2x. If we take the index indices, is equals to 3. So 2x is equals to, you take the negative 5 in the other side, becomes 3 plus 5. So 2x is equals to 8, you divide by 2, you divide by 2. So the value of x is equals to 4. So let's work this out. So we have 6 over 7 power negative 2 times 7 over 6 power negative 2. So then you can separate the values or work with them uh, together. So in this case, we can work them out together. So 6 over 7, so this is the same as 1 over the whole value which is 6 over 7 power 2 times uh, 1 over 7 over 6 power 2. We have done in this sense so that we can remove the negative values. So this is the same as 1 divided by 6 over 7 power 2 and also this is the same as 1 divided by 7 over 6 power 2. So this is the same as 7 over 6 power 2 times this is the same as 6 over 7 
power to is this that you change the sign or you change the fraction or the direction of the fraction so this gives us 7 power 2 times 6 power 2 divided by 6 power 2 times 7 power 2. So this is what we have. You can go ahead and what I did, I, I multiplied them together. That is 7 power 2 over 6 power 2 times 6 power 2 over 7 power 2. This is the same as 7 times 6 or 7 power 2 times 6 power 2 over 6 power 2 times 7 and power 2. So when you do the calculation, you notice 2 minus 2 because it's a division. This cancel out and also this cancel out to give us 1. So that's how we carry out uh, uh, negative indices. And you can, it can be put anywhere in your calculation. You should be able to work it out comfortably. Just remember a negative index means it's a reciprocal. So you can check out more questions in the app so that you can be able to practice on these negative indices and also the notes on the same. So see you in the next lesson.